Hello, this is Dee with Divine Needle, and this is the Age of Aquarius Spiritual Path Tarot reading for August the 31st, Moon Day. Yeah, day 73. So, I hope you guys' weekend was good. And, start of a really big week, I have a feeling for a lot of us. A lot to do. Especially in the early part of the week. But I have a feeling it's going to be a busy week overall. <laughs> so, anyway, um, just a reminder. Manifest your dreams into reality. And continue living in your inner child. That awe and wonderment. Nothing is impossible. Okay? So here we go. Overall energy for Moon Day tomorrow for the oh <laughs> that was quick. Okay, we have the Stronghold in of the Flame and Archangel of Mysteries. That's the one on the bottom of the box, the Archangel of Mysteries. That is the Earth Goddess. Whew. All right. What's our highest priority for tomorrow? Like I said, a busy week. <laughs> okay. Okay. The discerning one. Two paths you can pick from. And what do we need to be mindful of and, and or prepare for? What do we need to be mindful of and or prepare for for Moon Day? Tomorrow for the Earthbound Davas. Mindful of and prepare for. Okay. Oh, three, it looks like. With these two. And chariot. Very nice. I know what that's about. At least for me. <laughs> yep, I know what they're saying to me here. Oh, here we go. And Adonai, Archangel Michael. Hmm. Fascinating. Hmm. Okay, guys. <laughs> What's underneath? Ooh, Ada Orbs, very dedicated work. Very dedicated, period. Card of Leo, so is this one. Well, this is actually Virgo in the, in the sun, actually, this one. So this is Earth Energy Virgo particularly. I'm a Virgo moon. Interesting. So, Archangel of Glory is our underlying energy. So, Archangel Michael, the Leo, <clears throat> is going to be our underlying energy. The King of Scepters is the Archangel of Glory who holds up the torch, beckoning you to pursue greater scholarship or cultivation of the arts. The Archangel of Glory is a divine teacher of arts and all forms of academia. This is the angel now by your side to facilitate success in artistic, literary, academic, or scholarly endeavors, appearing to you as a spirit guide for career success. Ignis Arum Probat, Fire Test Gold. I know specifically what that's about for me. That's about cellular memory and past life recall I'm training on that <laughs> and they know it okay overall energy for tomorrow stronghold of the flame <clears throat> page of wands
in other words, page of scepters. <laughs> the stronghold of the flame, or page of scepters, comes bearing an important message to you or an opportunity about career matters, schooling, creative or artistic endeavors, employment, or passion projects. The Page of Scepters appears as affirmation of a coming adventure, a quest that will be presented to you. Your creativity and ingenuity will be the deciding factors on how you navigate the quest. The presence of the Stronghold of the Flame can also be an emissary sent by a solar deity, a divinity of the fires, of agriculture, of artisans, or a pantheon from the Southern Hemisphere. Which is interesting. Because that's not a pantheon from the Southern Hemisphere. Because the Southern Hemisphere is Aquarius, Archangel Ariel. Hmm, kind of fascinated about that. But nonetheless, more dealing with the academic scholarly endeavors that some of us are, are undertaking right now. Creativity and ingenuity, a coming adventure quest, a message about opportunities and career matters. And the goddess, the earth goddess, Angel of Mysteries, Angel who illuminates the shadows. She is the one right here. King of Orbs. The King of Orbs is the Archangel of Mysteries. Another one of her many names is the Archangel of Revelations. She is a beneficent guide connected to the underworld, one authorized to act as an intermediary. Intermediary. <laughs> and mediator between the angelic realm still subservient to the divine in the realm of the fallen angels. She can also traverse through all of the lower realms to guide lost souls. The Archangel of Mysteries appears now because these qualities and powers of protection of hers are needed by you. Yeah, if you're ex doing what I'm getting ready to do, exploring past life, yeah. <clears throat> The King of Orbs illuminates the darkness for you who are about to transverse the realms of shadow. And yeah, if you're looking at past lives, the first things that you will remember, as I have so far, and it's rang true for me, is the tragedies, the horrors that you live through that are imprinted into your cellular DNA are the things you're going to remember first. So that's definitely going to be a, um, transversing the realm of shadow, for sure. So, yeah, yikes. You are about to uncover great mysteries. Mm-hmm, that's true. <laughs> for me, I, I don't know what you guys are up to, but um, this reading is definitely ringing true for me. This is the Archangel who protects you against all forms of darkness along your initiatory path of discovery. The King of Orbs is a great provider. You too are a great provider to others. With her lantern, the Archangel of Mysteries illuminates crossroads. She is a great master of spells and incantations. The ears of corn symbolize the seeds of spiritual enlightenment through the erudite study of esoteric practices. You manifest your material abundance through spiritual abundance. Indeed. Medusa's head. You know, the light in the lantern of the hermit card, and again here is the light of the star. Which is the Age of Aquarius card, for sure. Where all things that were once hidden are revealed, right? Mm -hmm. That's a thing. Anyway, so that's the overall energy for tomorrow. Scholarship, study, protection, and moving forward with that. <clears throat> Transversing the realm of shadows. And... Highest priority being the discerning one. Decisions to be made about paths 
that we choose. Hmm. Fascinating. <laughs> An Aries card. The discerning. Two of Scepters, determine your boundaries and define the scope of your dominion. This is the moment for you to map out your ambition. Exercise discernment before you proceed any further on this path you've chosen. Look out to the horizon and discern whether this is the sea you want to embark from. Decide, do you want a kingdom or do you want an empire? Highest priority tomorrow. Time kind of shifts, so some of you, this might be tomorrow, today, could be sometime in the next few days. We've seen that these readings can be as much as like four or five days out. So, anyway, what to be mindful of and prepare for? The joined one, two of chalices. So we got two twos here. Wow. We got an ace, a seven. Hmm. Okay, the joined one. In external alchemy, the joined one guides us to choose our allies. It designates an outer accord, but also an inner accord. In internal alchemy, the spirit guides us to unite our anima with our animus. This is the spirit of two becoming one and an omen of perfected love. Love in all its divine forms. Abyssius abyssium invocat. Sea calls to sea, or the depths of me calls out to the depths of you. Do not neglect relationships you cherish. So be mindful of and prepare for that. Sacred fire, ace of scepters, the awakening. That wand is here with Archangel Michael, a.k.a. Adonai. <laughs> Inky. <laughs> yeah. Sacred fire. Ace of scepters. A switch inside you is turned on your creativity, productivity, ingenuity. Fire is alchemizing in your world, materializing as a creative project, an innovative new venture, entrepreneurship, or the spark of inspiration for a passion project. This is also a new direction in career development. This is the awakening stage of your path. I know precisely what this is. <laughs> For me. And seven, the chariot. This can be about your vehicle. Just saying. In my case, it probably is. <laughs> Key seven. This is Krabby Patties. The card of Krabby Patties. <laughs> Cancer, right? Chariot of Osiris. Which is interesting because the Chariot of Osiris is Archangel Adonai, Archangel Michael, Inky, Poseidon, Neptune, his many names. But the one in that chariot, whether he be called Osiris or whether he be called Jesus or Archangel Michael or one of the many other names. That is his chariot. Funny, but this can represent travel or an automobile. And in my case, it's an automobile. <laughs> yep. P7, Major Arcana. The chariot is the spirit that helps you create change. You have attained a certain mastery of knowledge and you now must determine how you will use that knowledge to innovate. The chariot is an omen that you're gaining momentum. You possess mastery of knowledge and skills that now drive you further along your path. When the chariot card appears to you, you have arrived at a critical milestone and are in active movement toward victory. And yes, this is the major arcana of the Six of Wands victory card. Just saying. Success will come to the one who refuses to stop fighting. Keep going. So major victory over automobiles for some of you, travel for others, or just 
the direction you're heading in career or love. Something you're passionate about, something you could be working with somebody else you love dearly. Mm-hmm. Yep. <laughs> yeah. I know precisely what this reading is talking about for me. But um, this is definitely deepening your knowledge. Hard, dedicated work right underneath that. The Earth Goddess is right under that. Seven of Orbs. You got the seven and the eight right beneath. Good old Adonai. <laughs> the Earth Goddess. Learning those things that you're passionate about. Choosing that path. Making the distinctions, setting the boundaries of what that path is with somebody you care about. Brand new beginnings. And things you're passionate about. And the chariot. <laughs> okay, guys. Looks like a good day for moon day, which is good. That's goddess day, right? And I hope you have a good one. <clears throat> I definitely intend to. <laughs> I have a funny feeling this reading is about Monday and Tuesday. Funny, because we've got two twos facing us here. So, Tuesday, right? So I have a funny feeling that that's going to be energy for a couple of days. But we'll have to see how it plays out, right? Anyway, love you beyond all reason. Have a fantastic moon day and beginning of the week. We're going to be going into September. And don't forget the first and second full moon in Pisces. Plan your rituals accordingly.